Looking for a bold and innovative way to transform the classic Japanese cheesecake? Well, you've come to the right place. Right this way! Hi! My name is Tiffany and welcome back to my channel! Oh, who's this? Oh, you need my little cute bat over here? Oh, this is Celeste. Isn't she the most cutest thing ever? Like, I love her to death so much. Like, I brought her along today because she loves cotton candy and cotton candy pastel everything is her favorite. Despite being a vampire pet, she really, really loves cotton candy and blood. She's a sweet girl. I love her very much. Anyways, so today we're going to be making a cotton candy Japanese cheesecake. And if that kind of thing sounds very, very enticing to you, please hit that like button on this video and smash that subscribe button if you want to see any more baking content from me and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever I make a new short or video tutorial. When it comes to baking content, I try to keep things light and fun around here as well as putting like a neat twist on classic dishes and as well as throwing in a little bit of educational stuff in with a dash of self-deprecating humor. So if any of these stuff that appeals to you, then you should give my content a chance. You will not be disappointed, I promise. But first, what exactly is a Japanese cheesecake anyways? Well, think of it as a cross between a souffle and a cheesecake with the texture of something that might be similar to being like a cream cheese cloud, in which it would be light and airy on the inside and really nice and creamy and delicate on the inside. So basically, it, this cheesecake will melt on your tongue and is much lighter and airier than your standard cheesecake. Plus, it also has the added benefit of it also jiggling as well. Thanks for it being a cross between a souffle. Can you see a jiggle? Well, mine doesn't really jiggle as much because it's kind of cooled down since I took this out the oven, but yeah, so, but it does jiggle, trust me. It does jiggle, like Japanese cheesecakes do jiggle. And due to the nature of this specific type of cheesecake leaning towards being cottony soft, I also base today's cheesecake on another type of sweet that's also super soft and light, and that is cotton candy. Yes, today's cheesecake features lots of cotton candy flavors throughout in the cheesecake, as well as in the homemade cotton candy decorations on top, which is made using some sponge sugar, which is much easier to do than it actually looks, trust me. So now that I hopefully got you excited for today's fun and vibrant cheesecake, why don't we go make a batch for our own for ourselves, shall we? Come on, let's go! To start things off, we are going to make the cheesecake base. No cups allowed, so you'll need a scale. To a large bowl, add in 8 ounces or 227 grams of full fat cream cheese, 60 grams of unsalted butter, and 80 grams of granulated sugar, and stir them together over a double boiler set on medium heat until the cream cheese and butter starts to melt and become slightly smooth. Then add in 130 milliliters of milk and mix together until the cream cheese mixture becomes smooth. Once the cream cheese mixture is nice and creamy and smooth and is completely free of lumps, remove from the heat and set aside for now and make sure to wipe your bowl of any condensation. Oh, and before we forget, let's go prep our cake pan. Take two tablespoons or 30 grams of unsalted butter and grease the bottom and the sides of the pan with the butter. And here's a trick that I learned from BuzzFeed, but wasn't too successful with, but whatever, it still got the job done. We're going to take some parchment paper and fold it in half diagonally and then fold it again in half to make a triangle, like so. Then we are going to take the tip of the triangle and place it in the center of the cake pan and then we're going to cut along the outside of the triangle. You know the part that's sticking out. And that should give us a perfectly round liner that fits perfectly in the bottom of the pan. But mine came up a little up the sides so it doesn't quite fit so I trimmed it a bit more so that I can fit better in the pan. Then line the sides of the cake pan with some more parchment paper making sure that the parchment paper sticks out at least 2 inches past the pan so that it can properly hold the cheesecake and also when it rises it doesn't spill out the sides as it bakes. Set the cake pan aside for now and to a medium bowl add in 8 large egg yolks, half a teaspoon of salt, 1.5 teaspoons of cotton candy extract, 
a one quarter teaspoon of cotton candy dram, the zest of one large lemon, and one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice and mix together until combined. Add the yolk mixture to the cheesecake base and mix it together until fully incorporated. Then we are going to sift together our dry ingredients. To another medium sized bowl, add 80 grams of cake flour and 30 grams of cornstarch and sift them together. Gently toss together to combine and then in two installments, sift the dry ingredients over the cheesecake mixture and gently fold into the batter before adding in the next installment. Repeat until all of your dry ingredients have been incorporated. To whip up our egg whites, we are going to be adding in 8 large egg whites or about 240 grams of fresh egg whites in weight and add in half a teaspoon of cream of tartar to the mix and gently whisk together using a hand whisk until the cream of tartar has been fully incorporated. Then switch to your hand or stand mixer because we definitely don't want to whip this by hand now. That will literally take all day. Well, unless you're like crazy strong or something. And then you are going to whip up the egg whites on medium speed until you get soft peaks. Then add in 80 grams of super fine or regular granulated sugar in three installments and continue to whip your egg whites until you get stiff peaks. You'll know when you've reached this stage when your meringue shoots straight up and also, like my profile picture, your egg whites don't drop on your head. Gently fold the meringue into the yolk mixture in three parts using a figure eight motion and continue to fold until the whites are just incorporated before adding in the next part. And be very careful not to over mix your batter here or you'll risk deflating the cheesecake and it will end up super dense instead of light and fluffy. Once all of your egg whites have been mixed in, using a scale, divide the batter into three equal parts and color each bowl with a different color. So to make the different colors of the cotton candy, we are going to be using pink, sky blue, and purple. Then add each color to the prepared cake pan in an alternating fashion, kind of like a cool marble effect if you will and repeat this process until all of the colors have been added to the pan. Doesn't the cheesecake look super cool with its colorful swirls and splashes? To me, it looks kind of like a work of abstract art, and this part honestly was really fun to do, and it was really pleasing to look at. Then take a butter knife and gently swirl the colors together, but don't overdo it now or you'll lose the pretty marble effect. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit or 163 degrees Celsius. Place your cake pan in a large baking tray with deep sides and boil some water. Carefully pour the hot water into the large baking tray until the water comes up about halfway up the cake pan. Bake in the oven for about 25 minutes before lowering the temperature to 290 degrees Fahrenheit or 143 degrees Celsius and allow the oven to cool down for 5 seconds before closing the door and continuing to bake for another 55 minutes or until the cake has doubled in size and the top of the cake is set. Allow the cake to cool in the oven for 30 minutes before removing to cool completely. Then carefully remove from the pan and remove the parchment paper. And as much as I wanted to admire that jiggle from the cheesecake, because mine ended up deflating, it doesn't jiggle that much, if at all. So this is another friendly reminder to not deflate your egg whites, so that you can get that signature jiggle that all Japanese cheesecakes have. But can we just appreciate the swirls for just a second? And while we can enjoy this beautiful cotton candy as is, I really wanted to add a little something extra special, so let's go make some homemade cotton candy. Yes, I'm fully aware that this is actually sponge sugar with cotton candy flavor in it, but let's just go with it, okay? To a large pot, add in 200 grams of granulated sugar, 60 milliliters of water, 
and two tablespoons or about 33 grams of corn syrup and mix it together and make sure to brush those sides with some water so that it doesn't crystallize. Cook the sugar syrup on medium heat until you've reached a temperature of 230 degrees Fahrenheit or 110 degrees Celsius before adding in your food coloring. Make sure to use liquid gel food coloring here so that you don't risk crystallizing the sugar by having to stir regular gel coloring in. Then continue to cook the sugar syrup until you've reached a temperature of 330 degrees Fahrenheit or about 165 degrees Celsius. Quickly add in 1 teaspoon of cotton candy extract or 1 quarter teaspoon of cotton candy dram and stir to combine. Remove from the heat and allow the sugar syrup to slightly cool before spinning your sugar. You'll know that it's ready when you dip a fork in it and it leaves little strings behind as it drips down. Using a ball whisk or two forks, dip it into the sugar syrup and just swish it over the bowl in a back and forth motion. See the strands being created as you swish it around? Continue to spin your sugar until you have enough strands and then just collect it from underneath the bowl and shape the fine strands into a ball. And while you are doing this, should the sugar syrup start to cool down too much, just simply warm it back up on the stove top until it's nice and runny again before continuing. Once you've completely finished with the sponge sugar, add the cotton candy balls to the top of the cake. You can even add in some store-bought cotton candy to the mix as well for even more textural variety. And your cotton candy Japanese cheesecake is finally completed. Full of beautiful colorful swirls and cotton candy flavor throughout, this cheesecake is perfect for the cotton candy lover in your life. And despite it being a little dense this time, I still found it to be absolutely delicious. I really hope you enjoy this cheesecake you guys. And there you have it, cotton candy Japanese cheesecake. A fun twist on the classic Japanese cheesecake. This cheesecake is full of cotton candy flavor and it's just as light, airy, and sweet like the real thing too. It's perfect for the cotton candy lover in your life as well as just anyone who enjoys Japanese cheesecake in general. Now let's cut a little slice into this, shall we? Mm. Would you like a piece, Celeste? I mean, you can't really tell, seeing as she's not actually alive or anything, but she really does love this cake. I mean, cotton candy is like one of her absolute favorites, and she's like really, really happy right now, and it just soothes her sweet and sinister stomach. Yes, it's happy. She loves it. So that is it for today's video. If you like what you see here, and you enjoyed today's recipe, please give this video a like, and comment down below, and tell me what you think of it, especially if you're going to give this recipe a try. Share this video so others may also have a chance to give this fun and colorful cheesecake a try. And if you're not already following me, but you enjoy the baking content that I do on here, please smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever I make a new short or video tutorial. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Both usernames are at Tips Patisserie. And the full written recipe to today's cotton candy Japanese cheesecake will be on my website, tipspatisserie.wordpress.com. The link to that is in the description box down below. And until next time, you guys, stay safe out there, peace out, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Now, if you don't mind, this is kind of long right here, and so I'm going to give her some of my cheesecake. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!